Hi y'all, today I am showing you how to make this Asian meatloaf or Vietnamese meatloaf that goes well with rice and eggs and fish sauce and grilled pork. So first we'll get a bundle of um, vermicelli noodle and soak it in water and also a handful of dry woody mushrooms or you can do shiitake but I got some woody mushroom here that's what I grow up eating. I'm just gonna soak there for a little bit while I'm preparing this. A couple of medium carrot, shred and uh, chop them into a little chunk like this. And then uh, I'm also gonna need a medium onion. Also chunk them into a smaller section on my cube so that it's easy for me to put them in the blender. Also, I am going to use a pound of ground pork. You can do ground chicken or turkey. In here, a teaspoon of sugar, one tablespoon of chicken powder, a teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of garlic powder optional. While that is sitting there, I am going to just pulse these real quick. You can shred these, uh, like you know, using the one little cheese shredder. It's just easy for them to like, you know, mix around. You can make them slice or longer. Uh, but I think I got this little handy dandy thing here and I love it. Just pulverize it real quick. Um, it's kind of like a meatloaf thing. So everything kind of small and blend and chunks. So do that the same for the onion. No crying here. And the woody mushrooms are all soaked and rinsed. And the vermicelli noodles um, is also kind of hydrated. Cut them small and, and put them all into one pot. I also add in here six eggs, but I save two yolks for the top. So the noodle is kind of soak up all the liquids if you have any in there like vegetables and such. So it doesn't make like a soggy, um, soggy meatloaf. <laughs> I don't know, like lasagna. I don't know. I, I want it to be a little bit thick. So you can add more meat if you want. You can add tofu. You can add anything you want. Uh, this is very basic. It's a little slushy like this. When the meat uh, is cooked and baked, it should be all tight and um, not too too hard. Don't don't work it too hard. The meat can make it. So I stick this in the microwave for about 30 seconds. Wanna taste it before I cook the whole thing. This is your last chance. Don't miss it. So take a bite and see what it tastes like. Me, I think I added a, uh, about a little bit more chicken powder um, with that. And also I'm also gonna use about a Half a cup to a quarter cup of uh, crab lumps here. If you're on a high baller in, you know, do the whole the whole container. I'm thinking it cost you about twenty to thirty five bucks. So do it do it your way. But don't don't mix them up anymore with you know because uh, you don't want the crab lump to be all mixed up. You know, like breaking up. You want it's a little chunk. It's just preference. Anyway, you know, you eat it. So I'm just going to flick it up real quick like here and there and um, that will be it. You can do the glass bowl or you can do the ceramics thing here that I have. Well, you can't use mine but you know if you have one use yours. Uh, spray this uh, with canola, I think I have canola oil um, and add the mixture in there. Sorry for the camera there. It's I was so focused on doing this thing and didn't really look at the camera. And flatten that up on the top to make it flat. And just bake it for uh, about 40 minutes to an hour. It depends on uh, your, your, your thing there. Mine, I had to adjust it a little bit, but you know, 40 minutes at maybe 400 or 350. To 375 each oven is different but you see the middle is kind of you know bump up a little bit there you can tell it's already done 
don't overcook this. So when it's done, I just put uh, these little egg yolks on the top. This is totally optional. Uh, you can add a little bit of cornstarch and a teeny bit of maybe ye yellow or red color in here uh, to make it look more attractive, but I think this look attractive enough. I don't know. And then you put it in your mouth, you eat. Not too attractive, but right now, that looks pretty attractive. And I just left it in there for about another 15 to 30 minutes and it should be all done. And here we go. Very, very easy. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you do. Check out my grill park or grill, all kinds of stuff that goes with it. Um, the fish sauce and everything. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like. I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.